Elliot, thank you for joining us before the National Franchise Exhibition at the NEC. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about Flip Out? Um, so Flip Out is the market leading family entertainment centre operator in the UK um, and soon to be Europe. So we operate big warehouses and big box leisure units um, that cater for typically families and our bullseye demo is kids between age 5 and 12. Brilliant. And obviously been in franchising a while. What What's your favourite thing about franchising? My favourite thing about franchising is that you find people that care more about the businesses than you could ever find in an employee. Um, from our stance, our very best sites are owned and operated by franchisees because they just have a, a level of, of diligence, care and attention that you can't find by simply employing someone. Um, so that's one of my favourite things is that the, the centres themselves are run fantastically and people are very meticulous about their work. Um, what else do I love? I also love, you know, with in our industry, um, we sell fun. It's a very easy job. Um, so the ability for other parents like ourselves, us as owners, for other parents to kind of bring that joy in a sense of um, involvement to the community and their local community is always really nice as well. Because we, we're, we're, high, we're high volume business, you know, it's literally thousands of people every weekend that you are selling fun to. And so it's always nice to put a smile on people's faces. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, everyone coming to the show is going to be interested looking into franchising. What What do you think for someone coming to the show? What, what are the main benefits of investing in a franchise? It's a good question. And I think it's a question that everyone should be asking themselves before the show. You know, being completely candid, um, when I started my franchising journey, so I started my, my journey with Flip Out as a franchisee. Uh, me and my business partner were the first franchisees in the UK. Um, and it, it being completely candid, you know, we went to the franchise show to try and steal ideas, things that we thought, oh, well, this will do well, we'll, we'll do it ourselves. I guess what kind of lifestyle they want to live. You know, a lot of people, we, we I speak to a lot of potential franchisees every week. Um, and some, some want a hands-on investment, some want hands-off. And the fran I think the franchise has got to be right for the franchisee. You know, not everyone is a good fit for every business, especially like, if you are coming to the show, I think you have to have a clear industry in mind. If you are, oh, it shouldn't it shouldn't just be money motivated. Obviously, yes, everyone's in business to make money and um, and and getting a return on investment is super important. But you've also got to love what you do because if you don't enjoy the industry, if you don't love the business, then two, three, four years in, you know the very best franchises and the very the most successful franchisees end up being multi-site and multi-unit franchisees and people can never get to that stage if they don't really love the industry that they're working within so i think but for me it's it's kind of what do you want as a lifestyle and what industry do you really really want to be involved in and that's a that's a great answer and obviously visitors um thinking of coming to the national franchise exhibition at the nec um i know you guys have exhibited before what what can people get coming coming to the exhibition a real flavour of of what is successful and what is on what works. You know, there's the every business is so different, but there's a, there's there's common themes that run that run throughout. Um, and I think one of them is the operational side of things. Good franchises have really tight operations, and they have really good people behind them as well. So if 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 I had my time all over again, um, I, I think if I was visiting the show to to look at what's out there and potentially what it can be involved in it's you've got to look at the the people behind the vision because every business will, will claim to have a vision it's about what visions really resonate and are in congruence with what your values as an individual or potentially as a group um i think the other thing that the show is really good for is just to understand um what trends there are in the market as well um because as we know if you if you're standing still you're falling behind so it's about looking to that future what's going to be you know everybody wants to get in at the start of the next big franchise you know people would have loved to have had a mcdonald's 50 years ago i'm still they sure love to have it i'm sure they still love to have a mcdonald's now but you know the best time the best time to get into any franchise model is right at the very start of it 
um, when the company is still growing, it's still got hungry, ambitious founders, um, ideally the same founding team that it had. Um, that, those are really important quality, in my opinion anyway, really important qualities to look for. And for anyone coming to the show, obviously they're going to be speaking to a range of different brands, different franchisors. What, as someone coming to have a look around the sector, what are the key questions people should be asking franchisors? I guess for me, the key is always, um, are we looking to build a, a long-term partnership here? You know, the reason you asked the question earlier, but one of the reasons that I really do love franchising is because it's a partnership um, and it should be, it should be two way. It, sh- it shouldn't, it's not a dictatorship. And there should be a level of meritocracy as well. You know, the best franchisees get the best opportunities afforded to them. So I think it's about if people are really serious about franchising and and, and serious about a franchising journey, they need to sit down with the, the owners or whoever's leading the recruitment process and, and ask those difficult questions. You know, if I, if I do really well operating and owning and operating this franchise, what opportunities will be afforded to me? Where can I go next? You know, and does that sit within your wheelhouse of what you want to achieve? Because it's all well and good saying, right, well, if you do well, we're going to let you open 50 sites in, in South America. If you don't want South America, then then it's not really a good option for you. So it's understanding, it's being really honest about where the next decade can take you. And it's about having a long term view as well. You know, I don't think anyone should be getting into franchising for a quick win in the next you know, 12 to 48 months. It should be a long term vision. You know, where can I take this business in the next one or, or two decades even? Elliot, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and we look forward to seeing you at the show. Awesome. Thank you, Adam.